What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to create lists within your HTML documents. There are a couple of types of lists that you could create. You can have an unordered list, you can have an ordered list, and you can have a description list. And these are the examples on my website, pixelmerb.com. You can go to the HTML tutorials and go to lists, and you'll see these examples here. But let's go to the editor and play around with some code. But before doing that, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so that way you can be part of our community and hit the notification icon so whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. All right, so now let's jump to the editor. Now I'm gonna create a new file or matter of fact, we could just actually stay here in the index.html file for now. So let me scroll down a little bit. The basic syntax of list within HTML is for the unordered list, we're gonna have the UL tag opening and closing and inside of it, we have the li tags and you can have as many of them as you need. We could also, I'm going to copy this here, have ordered lists like that. And then over here, we're going to do our description list. So this is going to be a little bit different. We'll have our DL opening description list tag and the closing one underneath it. Inside of it, we'll have the DT and then we'll have our DD tag, and we'll duplicate that again. So I'll copy this, and I'll paste it there. Let me get some separation just to make this a little bit easier to see. So I'm gonna start off first with the unordered list. So I'm gonna go here, and in the first one, I'll just type out HTML, and then CSS, and then JavaScript. We're gonna save that. I'll copy HTML to here, CSS, to here and JavaScript to here. So you can see the difference between an unordered list and an ordered list. Save your file and let's go back to the browser. Let's go here. Let me go to the index page. So down here we have our unordered list, which is identified by a disk item. That's the default behavior. And then we have an ordered list over here that's in numeric value. So we can change this up a little bit. Let's go to the editor. And now here, inside of the opening UL tag, I can say style. And let's say circle. Save that. So we're using a style attribute on our UL tag here with the value of list style type circle. This is inline CSS. Let's go back to our browser. Let's reload. And now instead of a disk, we see it's a circle. We have other options we could try as well. We're gonna now have a square. Let's go back to our browser, reload. And now we have a square. Let's go back to the editor. You can also say none, reload. And now there's nothing there. So that's an unordered list. Over here, let's put this back to circle for now. You could have as many list items as you need as long as they're sandwiched or inside of your opening and closing URL tags. And you have your opening and closing LI tags. Now let's go down to our ordered list over here. And instead of using styles, we can use a type attribute. And this is the default type that's used. So if you save it, go back to the browser and reload, it's still gonna be in number form. Let's go back to the editor. Let's try to use Roman numerals instead. We could use the lowercase i for that. Save it, go back to the browser, reload, and now we have the Roman numerals right there. Let's go back to the editor. Could also use uppercase letters. Let's try that, reload, and now we have ABC. We could also have lowercase letters. Save it, reload. Now we have lowercase a, b, and c. Go back to the editor. I already showed you the Roman numerals, but we could also use the uppercase Roman numerals with an uppercase i, save it, reload, and now we have the uppercase Roman numerals there as well. So now let's go into our description list. Let's go back to the editor. And now, if we go over here to the first one, let me actually copy this real quick. If we say we have a description term, this is used to provide the term itself. We're gonna say HTML, and then we can give it a description here. Say hyper text markup language. And then here we can say cascading 
style sheets, then JavaScript, client side scripting, but it could also be used on a server side with Node.js. But that's another playlist that we'll be creating. All right, so now we have our description list with a description term of HTML and a description right here. Same thing here for the CSS and its description and JavaScript right here. Let's save that and go back to the browser. Now let's reload, scroll down. Now you see we have our description term right here with the uh, description right there. Same thing for CSS and JavaScript. Now if you want to validate all this, let's go right here to this validating service, check, and no errors or warnings. So that means our code is good. It's always good to do that every now and then to verify that the code you're putting out there is valid. All right, so let's go back to our editor. And I want to show you another thing we can do with the ordered list. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to take out this type right here. And I'm going to type out start. And I'm going to put in the number 10. You can have it start from a specific number if you want, instead of starting from like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So let's save it. Go back to the browser. Let's reload. And now instead of starting at 1, it starts at 10. And you can use any number for that. Now let's go back to the editor. Now here I showed you that you could use the type uppercase I or lowercase I or A or uppercase A in order to change the type of the ordered list. Now this is one way to do it, but you could also do it with CSS and often that's preferred. So we can come here. I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. I'm going to say style, and then list style type and I'm going to say upper dash Roman. Let's save that. Now we should get the same results in this list item here as we do up here. Let's go back to the browser. Now let's reload and we have the same results. Let's go back to the editor. Now let's try lower Roman. Go back to the browser, reload, and it's lowercase Roman numerals. So that works as well. So let's go back to the editor to get a recap. In order to recap this, we have an unordered list that starts off with the UL opening tag. You could have a style attribute there if you want. Then you have your list items, and in between the tags will be the actual items that will be displayed in the browser. That's the closing UL tag. Here we have an ordered list, and in this example we use the uppercase Roman numerals and type uppercase I, the list items, closing that off. And here we got the same styling, but in a preferred manner by using the style attribute. And ideally you should do this in an actual CSS file. You should try not using inline styles and just try to use external style sheets when possible. Over here we had a start of 10 because the default is starting at 1, going to 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we started at 10 and it'll go from 10 to 11 and 12. And then we have our description list with our description term and the description right here. So that's list within HTML and the results look like this. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can be part of the community. And if you want to get the code snippets, you can go to my website here on pixelmap.com. I'll leave a link in the description area. And in the next video, I'll be talking about images with HTML and how you could work with them. So again, hopefully you found the video helpful. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.